verses 19 through 24. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Now we begin a section that talks about the priorities of a disciple. The priorities of a disciple. Where should a disciple be focused? On God. On God and the things of God. Absolutely. Yes. And in these verses, Jesus says that a person can either be focused on accumulating things in this world or storing up treasures in the next. He says that the problem with storing up earthly things is that they don't last and they don't ultimately satisfy. Right? Um, you're, you're our resident car expert, Larry. Okay? What happens when you own a car? They get miles on them and they do what? Sometimes they break down, right? And sometimes they just wear out, right? What happens if you buy a heart shaft or a Mark suit? That, that's a nice suit. I don't know if you guys are into guys' clothing or not. But those were well-made suits. Okay, huh? They wear out. Yep, they wear out. Stuff in this world doesn't last. It's not going to satisfy. It's not going to satisfy. So... He says that the problem with storing up earthly things is that they don't last and they don't ultimately satisfy. Instead, we should be focused on pursuing the goals and doing the things that have eternal significance. What are the things that are eternal? But it's it's people, right? It's the souls of people. So we need to be focused on uh, people. And relationships. That's what we should be about. Now what would that look like for a Christ follower? Serving others? Loving one another? Yeah. Valuing people? Building relationships with people? Reaching out to people? Think for a moment. Think for a moment. We're not talking vertically. We're talking horizontally. Who is the person that you value most? You don't have to give a name, okay? Don't want any tears here, okay? (laughs) Oh, I thought it was me. Yeah. Think of the person that you value most. How do you show them that you value them? Giving them your time? Supporting them? Going out of your way? Spending time with them? Well, if we really, if we really believed that we need to be loving people, then those are the things we need to be doing. And not just with, not just with that individual we thought of, well, that's the most important person to me, so that's what I'm going to do for them, but nobody else. No, if, if we are to, if, as he says here, We need to be focused on the eternal things. And the things that are eternal are the lives and souls of people in this world. And that's how we have to treat people. That's how we have to treat people. So here in verses 22 and 23, Jesus says that if we are focused on the right things, he says, then we can see clearly. But if we're focused on the wrong things, we are going to be blinded to spiritual truth and the real meaning of life. Focusing on God and the things of God and the souls of people. How does or how would that change your worldview? Helps us realize that we're in a spiritual battle. we, we We so often look at this world and the things of this world just in the physical realm, right? But there's a, there's a spiritual 
world all around us. And things are constantly happening. And there is a battle raging. And if you focus on God and the things of God and people, it's going to change the way you watch the news. It's going to change the way you think of events happening in this world. It's going to change the way you think of your neighbor, the person who lives next to you. Um, how would focusing on God and the things of God and the souls of people change, change uh, the way you relate to the people around you? Well, again, they are to be loved and served and shown kindness. Share Christ with them. They're not a nuisance. <laughs> They're not somebody who's in my way. Get out of my way. I got something I need to do. Because the people are the priority. Right? Jesus then says here that you can't try to focus on both. It's an either or. It's not a both and. You can't try to store up earthly treasures and heavenly treasures. You can't be partially focused on the right things and partially focused on the wrong things. Again, it's the issue of priority. What is your number one priority in life? That's what it is to be a disciple of Christ. That's how we're to live. 